What's up YouTube? Welcome to this review of the latest issue of Detective Comics. So, since Rebirth has started, I think personally that Detective Comics has been the best, I guess, line or actual running series in the DC publishing kind of sphere. So, we've had a really, really cool storyline with Batman and Batwoman kind of making their own Bat Family army. So the Bat Family has long been a very, very interesting and intriguing and popular part of the Batman story. But now we actually have got the Bat army together fighting off Cassandra's father, which was, I thought, a bit of a weak twist. It felt a bit of like a, oh, we really want her to fight her dad, but how do we do it? Oh yeah, he's making like a secret Batman rip-off army too. Hmm. However, I did really enjoy this issue. It was a lot of fun and it's really fun seeing Red Robin, Tim Drake be a complete and utter badass and I loved the way we left off with the story of him facing the entire army of drones. But it, again, it did feel convenient that, oh yeah, there's a whole army of drones coming along again to kind of kill everyone from the League of Shadows. So, the League of Shadows, seemingly in Rebirth, isn't kind of a thing, and it's not really that well known. However, it does exist, and we are seeing evidence that it does exist when the team are trying to save people. We see them saying, help me, and etc, etc, like that. So, it's going to be intriguing to see how that works, and how this is put in the new, in the post-New 52 and Rebirth storyline. So, it's going to be cool to see that here on Detective Comics. Will they delve into that too much or will that be another plot thread moving forward as well? I really do like Tim Drake's kind of enemy, the Bat Fanatic. Who, if it was a Pokemon game he'd be like the Bat Fan and wear all Batman stuff and then battle you using Batman. Which was <laughs> a bit of a reach for that joke. However, I did really enjoy this storyline. And having Clayface be the good guy and have his bracelet where it turns him into a human looking person and also having him do the actual auditions etc was a lot of fun. We've seen that as well. Now this was a short, it felt like a short issue just because it was reeling with what's happened before and they're setting up what's going to happen in the future. But I really did enjoy this issue and the art is fantastic. And I'm really liking the covers of these issues. The covers are really badass, especially the variants. But if you haven't read it, go pick it up, go read it, go pick up the whole series. And I'll see you soon. And please do, subscribe and like. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.